Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Um, if you have not yet subscribed, uh, please consider subscribing. Today, I'm going to show you what I think is another helpful video. I will show you how to create the signed counting numbers. So, you can use this as a um, decorative piece kung meron kayong mga designated room para sa mga kids nyo kung saan sila uh, mag-homeschooling. Para mas uh, ma-feel nila na parang um, classroom siya. So, let's start. First, you have to um, pull up any browser, Chrome or Firefox. Depende sa kung anong meron kayo. And then, so search lang tayo ng background na gusto ninyo. So, my kids, they love uh, Spongebob. So, yun yung isa-search ko. Pwedeng um, Spongebob, wallpaper, or background. Alright? And then, just click images. And then, select and click the background that you desire. Alright? And then, from here, just right-click. And then, save image as. Okay. And then, type in nyo yung file name. Yan. And then, just click enter. And yan. Automatic naman siyang mada-download dito sa may lower left-hand side. Makikita nyo siya downloaded na. So, after nyo makita nito, pwede nyo nang i-close yung browser nyo. Then, pull up na kayo ng Microsoft Word or WPS Office blank document. Alright. So, first step, punta kayo sa file menu and then save as. Change yung file name. So, counting numbers. And then, itong file type. To change natin siya to Microsoft Word 97 to 2003 document. And then hit save. Alright, so from here, pwede na kayong mag-start. Um, ang goal natin is mag-create ng numbers from 1 to 10 na may design sa loob. So, para makapag-create kayo ng... Uh, pages, na mas maraming pages, just hit enter. I would suggest you do this beforehand para hindi kayo mahirapan. Yan. So, ang goal ko um, na laki ng counting numbers would be at least half ng band paper. Pero kung gusto nyo ng mas malaki, pwedeng whole ng band paper. So, Ito, pwede na kayong pumunta ulit sa first page. And then, from here, punta lang kayo sa insert. And then, word art. And then, just choose yung type ng word art na pwede tayong maglagay ng background sa loob. So, ito siya. Click lang natin yan. And then, click OK. So, delete nyo tong text na to, replace it with number 1. And then, click OK. And then, go to wrap text. And then, select behind text. Okay, so, ito na yung number. Pwede nyo na siyang i-resize, guys. Sa so desired na laki nyo. Okay, so, after nyan, uh, punta nang kayo dito sa fill or shape fill sa Microsoft uh, Word. And then, punta kayo sa picture. And then, select picture. Tapos, select nyo lang yung uh, background na napili nyo. And then, click open. Yan. And then, okay. Parang mas maganda yung isa. Hmm. Okay. Shape fill. Um, picture. Select picture. Ito na lang, guys. Para mas maganda to. Ayan. 
So, ganito na yung magiging itsura niya, guys. If you want na mas malaki to, all you have to do is drag. No? Para makover niya yung buong page. Ganyan. If you want na ganyan kalaki. But if you want na half lang ng band paper, pwedeng nyo namang liitan. Tapos, I suggest you rotate. Ganyan. Alright? Tapos, after nito, guys... Yung outline niya, pwede nyo ring i-customize sa mas makapal. So, punta lang kayo sa slide outline or shape outline. And then, wait. And then, choose nyo lang kung ano yung gusto nyong kapal. Example ito, 6 point. Yan. Ganyan yung magiging itsura niya. So, ako half lang ng band paper yung gusto ko. So, rotate ko ito pa pa ganito or um, drag ko muna para ma-resize. And then, rotate. Ka, malaki pa siya. Ayan. So, from here, madali na lang. Pag nagawa nyo na itong number 1, all you have to do is click inside. Tapos, right click. And then, copy. And then, right click kayo ulit. Paste. Yan. Tapos, paste na lang kayo dito ulit. Paste. Right click lang ha, and then paste. Right click, paste. Sa Microsoft Word, kailangan nyo yatang um, mag-choose ng keep source formatting para pare-pareha siya. So, right-click, paste. Paste. Right-click, paste. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Ayan, so... Delete natin yung isa. So, ayan siya, guys. So, next, punta lang kayo dito sa may second number. Again, click nyo yung loob. Right-click, and then edit text. And then, change it to number 2. Okay? Sa so, tapos, dito tayo sa sunod. Click nyo lang yung loob. Right-click, edit text, number 3. Sunod, click, right-click, edit text, number 4. Click, right-click, edit text, number 5. Click, right-click, edit text, um, number 6. And then, click, right-click, edit text, Number 7, click, right-click, edit text. Number 8, click, right-click, edit text. Number 9, click, right-click, edit text. Number 10. Okay, so ito na siya guys. Ganito yung magiging itsura niya. Yan. So, pag print nyo to, kalahati siya nung band paper kalaki. Kung gusto nyo ng mas malaki, kung mas malawak yung room na meron kayo for your kids for their homeschooling, um, pwede nyo siyang mas palakihin. So, kagaya nung tinuro ko kanina, pwede naman siyang isang buong band paper. Alright? So, that's it guys. I hope um, makatulong to sa inyo. Um, Again, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing para maging updated kayo sa mga ibang tutorial videos um, that would be helpful for you in teaching your kids at home. So that's it guys. Again, this is Mel. Thank you very much for watching. Have a nice day and please be safe always. Bye!